Pretty good. Good evening and welcome to the panel select board uh, office for regular meeting Thursday, April 2nd. Um, we have agenda approval. Minutes 3-12-15 special and 3-19-15 regular meeting. We have the warrants and mail. In old business tonight, we have the transfer station supervisor position. Senior citizens grant acceptance. Electrical quote for the uh, town offices here. Um, we had some discussion about the animal shelter. We'll briefly visit that. Um, the town website and a new business, uh, town credit card, and um, and then a special meeting will be held Thursday, April 9th at 6 p.m. at the highway department. So, can I have a motion on the agenda? Second. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to add to it that uh, we have a, an executive session to talk about uh, personnel and public officials. So you uh, you want an executive session? Okay. Um, what's your pleasure on that, gentlemen? So move. Second. Yep. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, Tend to approve them. Minutes for three twelve fifteen, which was a special meeting. And 319.15, which was a regular meeting. Take a motion. Mm -hmm. Or, let me, so move. Okay, I have a motion. Any second? Second. I, I'm not. Well, Any? I have a special meeting. I thought I was. Okay, very good. Okay. Because I know I missed Any one. Any discussion? I, I think it was, nope, I'm all set. You're all set? Yeah. All those, seconded. Uh, I, I, I did. did. Yep. All those in favor say aye. 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 Very good. I abstain from both. I think I was out of both. Right. Okay. Warrants tonight. Um, first warrant is accounts payable for the amount of $8,899.67. Then we have a um, accounts payable $25,407. The bigger items on that were uh, Green Mountain Power Electricity at $7,151, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield at $4,000. Um, those are your big ones for that warrant. Our third warrant up tonight is a payroll warrant for the uh, period 322 to 32715, the amount of $6,517.75. And this is also uh, payroll for the dates 32915 to 4315, in the amounts of $7,415.06. Those are the warrants for tonight, gentlemen. Um, so move. Second. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I abstain. I'm in one of those. Okay. <laughs> Mail for tonight. Um, we have a liquor license renewal for the American Legion, panel post 90. Um, so move. So move. Second. Second. Any no discussion? Problem. All righty. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We have a tobacco license renewal application for next door beer and wine. This is for tobacco. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. I will sign those after the meeting. We have a uh, household hazardous waste collection for residents and small businesses of Bennington, North Bennington, Old Bennington, Glastonbury. Powell, Searsburg, Shaftesbury, Stanford, and Woodford. Uh, mark your calendars, folks. This is a hazardous waste collection for Saturday, May 9th, <coughs> from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Bennington Transfer Station. That's at 904 Houghton Lane in Bennington, Vermont. Um, you know, any if you have any glues, adhesives, resins, um, metal, furniture polishes, 
uh, art supplies, anything like that. Uh, you can bring it there. Um, any substance with labels that say caustic, toxic, corrosive, poison, flammable, danger, warning, or caution. Okay, uh, you can bring those. What not to bring, dried and hardened latex paint, alkaline batteries, used motor oil, radioactive materials, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, tires, explosives, ammunition, fireworks, pressurized cylinders uh, will not be accepted. Okay, so again, that's Saturday, May 9th. And this is a letter from Michael Bratchard, um, who is part of the uh, Bennington County Regional Commission. And they've been working with the Paint Care to schedule a collection event in Manchester, which will be held on Saturday, April 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Riley Rink. Um, it's, it, we're we're going to post this down here at the town and a website eventually when we get that, which we'll talk about later. Um, it would be great for all you folks in town to bring your paint up there. And uh, the, again, that is Saturday, April 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Bennington County Regional Commission wrote us a letter saying that the new comprehensive regional plan uh, following two public hearings um, pursuant to 24 VCA section 4348 the plan will take effect 35 days after the date of adoption unless the BCRC receives certification from the legislative bodies of a majority of the region's municipalities uh, vetoing the plan. The plan is available for review at the BCRC's website. So if you'd like to go on their website, you can review the plan that we are uh, involved with. We have a list here from our safety officer who conducted a safety inspection in the town office complex. Um, a few things um, still need to be done, but um, it seems like most of it has been checked and we're, we're uh, getting up to speed on that. The zoning administrator monthly log, number of applicants received one, numbers of accepted one, one forwarded to the DRB. We have the VC, VLCT newsletter, which we uh, always get. And um, the town of Pownall is now owner of a property in North Pownall. Um, <coughs> I guess um, th this came through us through with taxes, back taxes, etc. So uh, we have to decide on what we are going to do with this. Uh, property and the best way to proceed with that. Again, it's a property in North Pound. I'll uh, speak a little on that. Okay. Being that it's down near one of my properties. Basically, the, the trailer has been abandoned for the year now uh, once we took it for taxes. It basically sits on a piece of property that has its own well and is hooked to the municipal sewer. It is a trailer that is dilapidated, but there is a huge amount of garbage and garbage bags piled up around it. Uh, we probably should have our health officer look at it, and if it proves to be something uh, detrimental, and even if it isn't, we probably should have somebody in our town, now that we're the owners of this, uh, clean that up and take it to the transfer station. At least get all the garbage that's out there stacked up. Uh, it is our property now. What's on it is ours, folks. Mm -hmm. We should probably act on that uh, sooner than later. So. Um yeah, well, we're going to hire, we, somewhere here, we're talking about a transfer station supervisor. It might be a yeah. task that yeah. we'll give him to deal with initially. Okay. Okay, but uh, I just wanted to say that uh, it is an eyesore. It doesn't look good, and it doesn't represent us well, for well what is if there? we leave it like it is. Well, what is there to look at? My, bags my, and bags my, of garbage. My, right. My, my point is, do you feel that we should have that cleaned up? We own it. Yes, we own it. We should clean it up. Well, yeah. what, what's the feeling? I mean, I guess I'll, I'll I, I have not seen it. Um, no, I, 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 you know, uh, I don't know that much about it other than uh, the uh, letter here tonight. That, yeah. Asking so, us to do something. Asking, well, well, it's it's not asking us to do something. It's saying that we now own it. That, that's right, what it's that's, saying. That's right. We're, we are the owner. Yes. Um, or it's next door to you. What do you think we should do? I think you should clean it, clean it, clean it up. You I'll, I'll give you another suggestion as a selectman. I think we need to clean it up because we own it. Okay. Otherwise, we'll never get any, well, I anything. I guess my more. point is, is 
uh, I'm, I'm looking for uh, yep. somebody. Do, do, you, do you think that's something that some of our employees can do oh, from yeah. the highway department? Go down there and clean but it up? Back hole, back hole, they'd probably take 20 minutes to get the 30 or so bags okay. up there uh -huh. uh, and then take it over. But the, I would tell them to work with our supervisor at the transfer right. station. The, okay. the, the other thing is is that it, if it looks better, if, I'm assuming the board doesn't want to own this. It's a trailer. What we'll want to do is sell it. Right. We'll so, sell the lot. It, well, if if we wanted to take the trailer out, then we'd sell the lot and probably get more if the trailer wasn't there. But again, I would urge you guys to go look at that because the trailer's window's been all left open and it's, right. it's, it is a disaster. Right. Uh, but certainly we should clean up the garbage that's around it, at least for a start. Mm -hmm. Because if anybody goes look at it to buy it from us, they're going to turn around and yep. try right out the way it looks today. Okay. Uh, you want to do it yeah, now? Yeah, make a motion. I'll uh, make a I, motion that we clean it up. All right. I'll, I'll, make, I'll, make, uh, I'll second it. Uh, um, all right. Uh, I'd like to add to that motion. Um, pending tonight's approval of our new transfer station foreman, okay, I suggest that he and the town highway department work together. I, I on can, this, I, I, um, I can make that motion that uh, being that our town uh, road crew member has been here longer than with our new transfer station, mm -hmm. for speed, and he's cleaned up sides of the roads before, that he works with our transfer station supervisor and show him the ropes of how this is done sure. and clean it up. Thank you. That's the motion. No, second. Okay. Uh, okay, we've had the discussion. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, thank you. We also have a letter here from Pownal Pets, uh, Tammy Matursky. Um, she's writing us to let us know that after uh, some serious uh, deliberation and thought uh, that she would not be interested in putting a building on her property for stray dogs, etc., feeling it may be detrimental to her business. So, um, I understand. Um, I, I move that we thank her for giving us the consideration uh -huh. and respect. Well, I, I agree. Okay. I agree. That's, uh, I'm sure she put a lot of thought into it. Well, she seemed to be very right. sincere. Yep. So and, just, just, <coughs> and she was like, kind no. enough to respond in a letter. I yeah. mean, when people do that, we should yes, thank them. Absolutely. Uh, and that, that'll come up later. And uh, also we have a letter here from our animal control officer uh, that she would uh, not be able to attend uh, the meeting here tonight. So uh, we'll have to push her to a uh, another night. That is your mail for this evening. Mr. Chair, being that we just talked about the animal control offer in the sh shelter, could we move the animal shelter to the top of our old business list? Absolutely. I don't have a problem with that. Do you, gentlemen? No. Okay. On that note, uh, we still have the two people who, I, I'm sorry, I do not know their names, uh, up on Mount Anthony Road. Henry, were you able to contact them at all? or uh, They have never, uh, I thought Linda was going to go ahead, I think you'll look in the minute, oh. she was going to try to contact those people. I have no idea who they are. Oh, That's I thought, what I, I keep trying to get from the board, who these people are. Let's see if I can figure that out for you. Okay. If, you, if you can't, uh, they are my neighbors, they're down the road, I don't know their names, but uh, I can drive in the yard. Okay. Um, on that note, too, I'm j this is just a thought. See if that we you do recall those things. Yes, that's who it is. Yep. And right there. You, yep, that's who it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. Speaking of animal control, etc., no town that I am aware of in Bennington County has a shelter. Now, I think it's a wonderful thing that we're all jumping on this bandwagon here to get a hold of this SWIP and uh, solid waste and, and, and work together on this. I think it's high time that the towns got together on this and create a dog shelter somehow, some way, countywide. Okay, in other words, it's going to cost every town a little bit of money because this dog problem... I can't speak for other towns, nor would I begin to, but I'm sure every town has this issue with no place to put stray dogs or no place. If we could do this SWIP program and, and all come together collectively, I would really like to see some organization 
whether it be the regional commission or what, or somebody uh, organization, come up with a countywide plan to maybe build a dog pound uh, to take in stray dogs from the towns uh, in the surrounding area in Bennington County. And funded as a group. Funded as a group because... Because the problem isn't going to go away. It, no, it's not going to go away. And... Um, there are nobody wants them, and and you're 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 really probably euthanizing a, a good many dogs that probably could have homes if we had a shelter where people could look at them. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there. I know a lot of people watch cat TV, etc. Um, that's my thought on it. But in the meantime, we will get in touch with these people uh, because we really should have something, some place for our stray dogs and panel here. Agreed? Okay. Does that satisfy you, Nelson? Okay. We 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 lost our place where we could take the dog. Well over. yes and no. We we still have to contact these two people on the Mount Anthony Road to no, see No, if, no I'm not oh, uh, I, our, yeah, our, yes. our dog officer yes. lost mm -hmm. out uh, right. they said they didn't want to work with her. Right. Or right. with us. Okay. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay, I think that. I think we need to proceed with what we're doing currently and trying to find something because as we all know There's gotta be some place things is when you start working as a group, they've only been working on this swift for five to ten years. It, not but now that the state has passed these regulations, we move them very fast. Yeah. And I think we can we can do something ourselves here in the short term if we find the right people. We just need to see if we can. Right. Need to bend. I just, I just kind of think uh, that countywide is a much better idea than dumping it on the individual towns. And uh, you know, each town funds it, and therefore it's the Bennington County Animal Shelter or Dog Pound or whatever you would like to call it. I just think that's a. And I am sure every town has a line in their budget for animal. Control. I'm sure they do too. Okay, um, let's move on to the transfer station supervisor position. Um, we held interviews uh, and the uh, board met with two of the candidates and um, I we made a, a selection and I did the uh, reference checks and um, so I'll take a, a motion. Uh, the reference checks all came out. The reference checks all came back very good. Um, very highly recommended, very professional. Um, I move that we hire him. Okay. It was Thomas. Thomas so Shuey. Shuey. I move we hire Thomas Shuey. Uh, second. RJ, second. Any discussion on this? To start when? To start, to start when? Uh, Immediately. Okay, how yeah. about ma, right, right after Easter? When's your first payday start? Monday? Start Mon Monday. Monday. Yeah. That's your pay, payday start. That's the time to yeah. start them. Okay. Uh, all that makes okay. sure that he signs our hiring paper that says hiring at will and all that. Mm -hmm. And he should get a copy of the employee. Uh, yeah, we'll do all that. Okay. Do we, do we have to do drugs tests and stuff with this employee? No. I don't believe so. It's the one with the CDL. Yeah, CDL. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Shuey. The senior citizens grant application. Um, Nelson, if you don't mind, I am going to uh, hand this over to you because I think you know it's got my a little bit over. more about it than I do. <laughs> Okay, basically what's ha happened here is that, as you all know, the award was uh, approved to give the, the Senior Center uh, a sum of money, which I think is $4,500. $4,500, and basically what happens is they have to uh, have various things in order to be able to have the checks and stuff sent to them, and it follows through. They, they need a liability assurance, a W-9, which is basically a form that talks about the, uh, what their number would be and so forth for the W-9, like we have social securities and other things. Uh, but they're not a 503C. So what uh, my recommendation is, is that the town and the senior center go ahead and, and 
do what the paperwork is that has to be done to get the grant. Uh, we've asked Linda to administer these grants. And so at that point, she'll be up front with it anyways. They'll bring her the bill, bills they pay. She'll send them in. They'll, and we'll manage it that way uh, so that the town becomes part of the grant. Uh, oh, we accepted it. And I thought we did. I thought no? we did too, but, but we didn't do it for We didn't. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, I thought that was a goal. Okay. So um, I guess what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a motion to uh, sign uh, these applications for yeah, need to get the show have the original. You got it? Okay. I've got it right here. I move that you uh, sign it as the organization being the town of Pano representative and that uh, we move forward so that they can, they have a, already have a huge list stack of bills they show me and stuff so that they can start receiving so they can do more work. Second. Second, Henry. Any discussion, other discussion on this? All those in favor say aye. 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 Some of that project they've already started last fall, if I yeah. recall. Yes, they did. And I informed them I'm not sure what bills right. they'll be able to use. Yeah, yes. well, we'll find all that out. Very good. It's a done deal. Okay, I need the entire board to sign the liquor and tobacco licenses. Yes. <coughs> okay. okay. Just pass it. I'll pass those down. Thank you. Sign the minutes and pass those down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, electrical quote. Um, we were able to get two estimates here for uh, bringing um, our emergency exit lights into the building. Um, install two emergency lights, one in front and rear doors, install extra receptacles at the area just outside the bathroom, install two hardwired smoke carbon monoxide alarm with battery backup alarms to be interconnected in series, uh, inspect and replace oversized fuses with proper rear fuses in the church lower level, submit state electrical work notice for inspection, um, quote and everything, we have one bid and this is from uh, Kelson Electric on Swallow Hill Road in Palm, Vermont. For uh, quote includes two. Okay, he he put that in there. Light fixtures as well. Uh, this quote is for nine hundred and fifty dollars. I'll pass that down. And then it's all attached. Oh, it says. I'm sorry. Well. I've got two of them here. RJ, sorry, I handed you both. We'll get this right. There you go. And the next quote is from Electrical and Lighting Resources Incorporated. It does not say where they are from. North Adams. North Adams, okay. Um, it says material and labor to correct the hazard of the lighting. Um, he just has a replace fuse box and upgrade a smoke detection system and outlet upgrade for a bid of two thousand four hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, I'm gonna pass this down with you because the items in red are the ones that they are looking at. So I'll give you a uh, a minute to look that over. So we have uh, two bids out there. There uh, seems to be quite a uh, difference in price. Were they listing both the same items? Uh, appeared to be, yeah. Other than one said replace the electrical fuse box, I guess putting in a new service entrance box. Um, however, the other licensed electrician just felt that by putting the proper size 
fuses in the box and I guess splitting up the circuits would be adequate. Even if you take out the fuse box, so you're, you're still way over on Yeah, that was only 550 yeah. right. bucks. Right, I know. Right, put yes. it at 1500 right. or something like that. Yeah. I mean, this is work that uh, we definitely have to have done in this building to bring us up to some semblance of um, code, needs, if you will. Needs to sign it. I think it's three signatures. Yeah, I promise not to take anything this week. Thank you. something else planned. Yeah. Well, we're talking about painting the place, too. This, I believe, we're talking about uh, painting this building this summer, too, which is something else we're going to have to act on very quickly to get a bit in before Along with that. these painters Along get uh, booked. Uh, 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 while they're looking at that, one of the other things when you talk about uh, maintenance, the other thing is uh, our front lawn with all the lumps and the bumps from all the plowing at some point. Uh, do, do, we, do we go out to bid this year or does that guy just do his thing? <coughs> He's already here. He's contracted. To... He has one more year on the contract. Because so, I assume he takes care of all that one. He, does, he won't be taking care of um, the truck ruts out there. What about the piles of dirt that's plowed up and stuff like that? He'll take care of some of that. I know we'd still maybe get... Probably, maybe you'd have the road crew come and... Well, whoever... I just know that it looks... It's not the nicest ground for me to walk on or anyone else that might be handicapped. Mm -hmm. So, some point it needs to be taken care of. I know it's still snowing. I know we're waiting for the snow to go. <laughs> Normally, we'd be doing um, our spring cleanup right now, but... They're, predict they're predicting snow tomorrow, so... Uh, does the board have any objection to asking Casey if they could do something about filling in the, the wheel ruts. I don't have a problem with that. No. Because I'm sure, you know, yeah. there wouldn't be any problem and mm -hmm. help yeah. each other out. Yep. Do we, we have the list in the mail of the stuff that was supposed to be taken care of? Uh, I believe Henry, Henry has, has it. it. It's all marked in red. Okay, yeah, because I just wanted to see what was taken care of on the list. Because there was some that was high priority and there was some that weren't. Mm -hmm. so I just want to make sure the high priority stuff was on the list. I believe it is, if you look at the quote. I believe that is the high priority stuff for the, the outlets, the emergency stuff. lights, it's smoke it's detectors, um, and, you know, getting the proper size fuses in place. <coughs> Um, the priority is this building. Yes. Yes. Not the other. Right. Right. Three of them there, actually. I think I saw that right. Okay, the only priority on the other building was the fuse box. Right. Just one the, electrical right. issue. And the electrical outlets out there was t listed, right? Yes. For uh, our, That's well, we have all the power plugs and all that. Yeah. Stuff. Now that everybody has seen that, um, I'm I make a motion that we go with the low bidder. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Kelson Electric. Okay. For the nine hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, nine hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I'll do it. For yeah. Nine hundred fifty. <laughs> There's a period in that. Do we have a second on that? Second. Henry that. seconds. At any discussion? Remember which one I second. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a nine thousand one. Good point. Like All those in favor say aye. 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 Transitional aye. glasses are wonderful <coughs> things. <laughs> yes. Very good. <laughs> okay, the town website uh, under old business here. Uh, Linda, I had stopped into the office uh, one day here, and uh, Linda was kind of uh, at a roadblock here because there is a domain name for right, sale. The board agreed on a domain name except I couldn't move forward because it requires a credit card to actually make the purchase. 
Yes, and the only credit card we have issued here is for tools for the highway department. And I, it was either do that or spend $2,700 or some ridiculous thing for a, a, another domain name. So I uh, told Nobody's Linda, please get a hold of Casey. Use the credit card to. It was two hundred and so two hundred and something dollars. Yeah, it was two hundred and some odd dollars. We can transfer the dollars. Right, and we can we can transfer those dollars over. So uh, um, we do have a, a domain name. Unfortunately, I don't remember it. Do you? Pa no. Pa no. Not yet. It's not to be announced. Yeah, yet. yeah, something. It's something not to do with Pownal. Okay. So. Thank you something for taking care of that. Something <laughs> to do with Pownal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for taking care. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, so Amy, Amy will be here uh, next week to uh, walk through that process to get the domain secured, week after. and we will begin setting up. What well, we'll begin moving forward. Good. Okay. okay. It's the the week after next, right? No, next Monday. Oh, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Oh, next I thought week. you meant for us for a meeting. No. She was going no. to come and explain. Yeah. Okay. No, no she doesn't have anything to yeah. explain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I hope. Yeah. Right. So we're not that far. We're, we're <laughs> that far if if all goes well, the the town should have a website within a, a month or so, two month month or two, if all goes well. So uh, we will keep you positive very thinking. optimistic. We'll keep positive, you posted on positive that. Positive thinking. Yes. Okay. Um, What's the town credit card? Yeah, uh, new business. The town credit card. Um, I know that on the previous board, I'll fill you fellows in a little bit. That the town did not have any credit card whatsoever. And Casey was looking to buy tools, you know, um, for like one or two time use. And he wanted to get some stuff from Harbor Freight and there was no credit card. So we authorized him to get a credit card with a $2,000 limit. Okay. So that he could purchase tools when needed, buy a socket for whatever, you know, a wrench. Or, and that's yeah. specifically what it's used for. Now, with that being said, and um, coming a, a, upon the 21st century here, I would like to uh, throw this out to the board to possibly get one more credit card f strictly for office use um, with a $2,000 limit, but no purchases over $500 without the board's approval. Yeah, I was going to say, what's our policy for their purchases? Okay. 500 500 Okay. See, right now I'm trying. I have to renew the um, the radio licenses, and that also requires now a credit card to go online. Okay. So, so if I'm hearing this right, basically what you want to do is get a credit card with a two thousand dollar limit. Limit that basically uh, can be used at a five hundred dollars each time it's used. No, it can be. You cannot use it over five hundred dollars without the board's approval. But that's for purchasing a single item, or is that for, for forever? So in other words, you spend your first five hundred dollars. Now you got to come to the board and ask to spend the next ten dollars. No, on what card. I'm saying is, if a pro if if something costs five hundred and one dollars, come to the board. That's what I said. That's you have to come to the board for approval. Anything below that five hundred dollars, you buy. I mean, I I, I'm hoping that we can. I mean, trust enough people that, that if they have to purchase something on an emergency basis or get radios renewed or whatever licensing, you know. I, I, I mean, like I'm in that. agreement. I just wanted okay. to understand because of right. the way it was said. So basically, they can buy one $500 item, then another $500 item, and another 500 and one more. But now they're at their third. They can spend two what he's saying is they can spend 2000 bucks, And that's it. There's, there's a limit on the card. I believe the other card is through... Peoples. Peoples. Okay. And um, so that's what I, I think. Actually, what you're saying is is uh, you can't spend over the card. Right. And not only that, you can't purchase <laughs> anything over $500 What'd without the board approval. It, you're you're, yeah, but you're letting somebody spend 2000 bucks. Which is the policy. Which I think which is, is, the policy. Which is fine. Yeah. And, but I'm looking <laughs> at the, the things she's talking about purchasing. And I, my thing is, is two thousand enough, or will we be renewing you, this? Right. Do you even know what it costs to renew the radio licenses at well, this that's point? What, that's I what don't because I haven't gone there yet because I got to a certain point and I realized I also need a credit card for this as well as the um, the website. So 
But that's why I'm, I'm saying, what is the, what should the card real? What we're looking for, I would assume, is a credit card that's good for a year. I think this time, two thousand bucks is enough. You know. Yeah. I think that's fine. I think the, the policy that we have right now with the highway department, yeah, the I think we should just roll it. You know, I think that's expensive. fine. Yeah. And and if and if you got any problems with that, you come back and we'll change that number yeah. pronto. Yeah. Okay. So. That's my is that a motion. Is that a motion? That's a motion. Okay. I'll second it. All right. All the, uh, <laughs> you want to repeat that motion there? You seconded. <laughs> uh, it's to, basically that the credit card as it was stated. Yes. Five hundred dollar limits, two thousand max. That's right. 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 Yes. Okay. Good. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Wow. I'm really impressed with that, gentlemen. <laughs> We're getting up there now. Raising the bar. Yes, we are. Okay, once again, I, I want to remind the board there's a special meeting on Thursday, April 9th at 6 p.m. at the Highway Department, okay, uh, or for our biannual inspection, etc. cetera. Um, is there any other new business to be brought before the board tonight? I'd like to make oh, wait, excuse me. Go ahead. No, okay. go ahead. Well, I'm going to talk about personnel afterwards. So okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, Armstrong. Right. There was yeah, uh, an issue here. last night. Should I move yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Should I announce myself? You yep. should. John Armstrong, resident of Poundwell, Vermont, a uh, business owner in Poundwell. Family's been involved for 40 years. We have two stores, plus a hop farm and a tasting room. And uh, Mr. Solar had a problem last night. I don't know whose problem it was. Don't really care. What I'm wondering is, is there any way for the DRB, or how do I do this, to call a special meeting, a short meeting for him to expedite the process that he may need to do to get this program through down at the track. Well, he he went through, he went, came to the select board first, okay, and he presented a plan, if you will. And from the plan that he presented, we said, Absolutely, we, we support it, okay? As a select board, we support it. But that is contingent on state and local permits, etc. So we had to go before the, uh, the review board, okay? Right. Now, in his original proposal, he asked for a portable stage, okay? Uh, I think there was some lighting and some portable bathrooms, etc. I was not at that meeting, okay? Um, but from what I understand, it went from one stage to three stages. Uh, no size requirements. Uh, there was a, a bunch of stuff in there. So what we said is he'd have to come back before the select board, uh, you know, which we gave him two weeks from tonight. This is the earliest meeting we could uh, with a plan that you, you, you can't ask for you can't ask for apples and then want oranges. Correct, I understand that. Okay. I'm just, I want to be involved with what does it take to get this process. Is there, uh, you're in two weeks from now, the DRB is how far from now? That, that question should really be asked of the DRBs. Right. And, uh, that first, first and foremost is if he's going to put in if he's going to see the DRB he's got to put in an application to see the DRB he withdrew the application he had okay so he needs to get clarity on what it is the DRB wants and then present that to the board and I've heard what Rich told me today about the all these different things and we were there at the meeting last night and when he asked the question what was the answer he got uh, the answer that he actually got was is if you're going to spend a million bucks, you ought to have an attorney take a look at it. Or two million, I forgot. I right, heard whatever the number was, right. So, it's a well, big number no matter well, what it is. But, um, um, actually, um, perhaps maybe some, I'm not sure which board. Actually, that, uh, those words came from the planning board uh, chair. Was that, is that the chair? He's a DRB. He, oh, he he's a DRB member that was there. Oh, okay. This guy also did come to the planning board okay. and present what okay. he was going to do to the planning board so the planning okay. board knew right. ahead of time before the DRB what was going there to be presented. Go. Uh, right. uh, the, the, the real thing is he needs to, from what I heard last uh, night, well, he needs from what I heard last night, from the board. From what I heard last night, 
he should anything he's going to do on that property he should put on a permit yes <laughs> anything and, and then he'll be covered because he'll cover everything there is and list everything on the permit and then go forward with that in front of the DRV and I then mean, the reason for that is is and then the DRB can either approve or deny because you got to go through them I mean uh, that's why we have it I, I mean, okay you, uh, yeah, you follow what that. I'm saying no no I understand yeah, that let, yeah. let me let me start from the be beginning of how this process worked what happened was they came to the board first and asked about a vent and that's this board. The, this, this board. This board. Okay. Yeah, but they, they also problem. came in front of other boards. Okay. Yes. And all the boards have said the same thing, that they have no problem with these type of events occurring there. Uh, what has happened is, as you know, in the past, there's been events there. There's been circuses, car shows, uh, other music, yeah, yeah, yeah. all kinds of yep. stuff. Yep. And there's never been a town permit. In this case, what we're trying to do is and that's because of him. He asked specifically for this. How can I make sure that I dot all my T's and cross, or dot all, cross all my T's, dot all my I's, so that the board and the community understands what I'm trying to do there mm -hmm. is a positive thing. And that was his words to us. Yeah. And that we, we yeah. were. So, so. And you folks right were all with it. positive. Uh, so, yeah. so, oh, so, so because, I, so because I he am. said that. Yeah. And because of the noise that he was going to create and the noise that people have complained about right I looked at the bylaws and I said that you are larger than the noise that's allowed in these hours you need to ask for a DRB a permit for a variance from that noise okay now that variance can be obtained if all of the proper communication well, that, that's, that's up to the that's DRB to the no, no, I'm not saying right. you people are no but to that's it. I'm saying okay it's up to the DRB right the fact that that's in the village plan does that affect I mean if this gentleman goes through this he's talking about putting a lot of money in to do this event where does the village plan play into <coughs> that so he doesn't waste his time and finally get to another stage and say well you can't do this because it's the village plan uh, that, that you're rewriting it, the village it, plan no, is that no, an issue the, 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 no, no we're rewriting the town plan yeah the village is a zone and it's in the village zone and amphitheaters and that is a conditional use within that zone within that zone right. so, so that's he, not an issue so it's not an issue that he can't can't is that an issue it. that you don't have a problem with as a board, or does the DRB, are they, do they have I'm a not gonna, separate... I'm, I'm not even I'm gonna, asking you to speak for it. Uh, uh, is it possible that the DRB uh, could have I'm not going to say that the DRB has a problem with it. The DRB had trouble with the application that was in front of it. Right. Oh, and I understand that. My question is, as it being a village designation, does the DRB have a problem? Who designates that and what it can be used for? It's all been done. They can't. They can't go they can't. and change the bylaw today because yep. you have to have numerous hearings and arrests. That is fact. That's it. That's that, that's, that's our bylaws. But that's that not answering change. the question, though. If the DRB is that property able to be used for a concert in that venue, the way it sits right now, as it being a village property or village designation, it, it, it is a conditional use, which okay. means they can set conditions upon how it is used for that purpose. For that purpose, if somebody wanted to. In this case, they want to go to 1 a.m. in the morning with noise. The they could say, no, you no, can't. 11 they, but, or they can set, but, but they, they can set a different time. they can mix it straight out of the bat by saying, no, it's a village property, village designation, and they cannot use it for that. That's, that's no, it's a conditional use. Okay. So it's, conditions need to be met. And really, um, I, I, and think, that's a DRB I think we should be very cost. careful here. I don't think we should be speaking for I, the DRB. No, I'm not yeah. asking to speak for the DRB. I really, All I'm asking I, is, I understand. I, as it's laid out, it's not we, a killer it's not a non-use. Okay. It's a okay. conditional use. Conditional use. And John, I I, I, would, I really feel that that you I, have to contact the DRB. Yes. Absolutely. And how do I go about contacting the DRB to get a quicker? I mean, you guys are meeting in two weeks to talk to Mr. Solar. Right. I've spoken with the man. He seems to be genuine. We've had a lot of. I'm going to make that the best place since mm -hmm. the pyramids in Egypt, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they well, just don't come up with the money. Mm -hmm. I have I, talked with Mr. Solar a few times and yeah. I don't know him personally more than just my business yeah, yeah, contacts yeah. with him but he doesn't seem to be a fly-by-night operation no, everything that I've looked into not. with um, his company is and they seem to be genuine and 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 I understand that this is all but you know what John too again I don't know how many months ago this was 
Uh, it was a it was a number of months. No, you said July. 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 Okay, it was July, it was July. and now we're we're in <coughs> April. And I I know this for a fact that our stipulation was follow the bylaws and the ordinances. And you know what? He's had since July. And I'm not defending to do him. that. And I said I don't know him other than just talking to him. And I understand what you're saying. It should be clear that he has tried yes. his best to meet the requirements of what the town wants. The problem is the clarity in which he's being given what he needs to present. And I think that's where the confusion is. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not his representative. I'm no. strictly and here as a businessman who would love to listen, see I think everybody in Pownall would love to see, I think most people would love to see something happen. I mean, up down and down there. the highway, you talk to anybody. Yes. And it's just, you know what? It's a one-time event. And but you know what? If we don't do our job, oh no! And I'm not saying I'm not know. saying you should uh, skirt anything. Yeah. I'm just saying, with the but, with the communication that has to go on. Well, I, I think I'll, I'll be very honest. I, I think this board uh, repeated itself again tonight mm -hmm. and said, "Hey, uh, we had no problem with it back when you asked. We have no problem with uh, with now. you tonight. You, you, you follow? Okay. All right. So that was this board. We that's the way where we stand." Um, the other thing is, is uh, to clarify what you're asking, is there's no question you need to set across this table, just like you are, in front of the DRB board, or even the planning board, whenever they're going to meet, and start from scratch one, because the planning board, I believe, dealt with this before the DRB. Am I correct on that? Yep. Well, Oh, okay. Well, but is there any way to get, I mean, if we go from now, the planning board to the select board well, to the DRB board, well, we not, could be months down the line and uh, you're talking about goodbye. Because I, I didn't guess, have to ask that individual. I guess you're going to have to ask the, I guess you'll have to ask maybe the chairman of the DRB board if they would schedule a meeting. Special meeting. Well, Am I I'd saying like that correctly that, or so. not? I don't. They need an application. I, I'm going to cite only because of the zone. Right. They need an application I'm before the they can schedule. They, the DRB, needs an application put in front of them, which means basically an application has to go before to the zoning administrator, which will then be processed, and it'll go to the DRB, and then the DRB will schedule that hearing. That's just what occurred here with the last process. And that's basically what's going to ha happen with whatever he brings forward. He, he has to... And my recommendation to him will be that everything he's going to do there better be on the permit. And not only that, if, if I'm not mistaken, I, I like I said, I was down at the meeting, but I think he withdrew his permit. He did, which means he's going to re have to reapply. Yeah, correct. So, so know. there is a way if you apply for a special meeting for different. There's three boards. It seems there's like. time. There's timetable. No, he's only he's going to go to the zoning administrator with a permit. That's it. The permit's going to take and be signed by the zoning administrator, the health officer, and it's going to go to the DRB. The DRB has to warn that hearing for 15 days at least. Okay, they're going to warn that hearing once they get the permit, and then they will meet. They have set times during the month when they usually meet, so it'll it could be and 18 days or whatever. You know those schedules. It's out on the board. The DRB is on the board. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't work for the DRB. No, no. no but I mean, there's Julie, a schedule Julie somewhere, right? Julie, Julie, okay. Julie handles okay. that. Julie okay. does that for them, but she'll tell you get a permit to her. She can do something. I hope that helped okay. clarify exactly what has to be done. Well, it's just it's. It, it, I know. Yeah, I, 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 it's you know. a long process, and I understand when there's communication breakdown on whoever's yeah. part. Yeah. But for this to be just left to flounder on Steve's part or whatever part, whoever, it just doesn't no. sit well with local business people. I talk to a lot of them and yeah. it's just one of those things that, I mean, I we're not would, talking they're about... All, listen, they're all looking for business. Yeah. Right, and we're not talking I, about a... I would urge the people that have concerns over things like this, when the DRB warns a hearing, you should be there yeah. to voice your concerns. They they listen to the people that are in the audience. They They... Swore in that <coughs> night, they'll, they'll let you speak. But yep. you have to be there because otherwise they're going to hear whoever's Other, there. No, otherwise they're going to talk to one another. Yeah. Right. Am I saying that correctly? Uh, yeah. Jim? Yeah. Uh, there. So Mr. Armstrong, Armstrong, you have something <laughs> to say? Can I, ask, can I ask a question? Is there any sensible way that we could be at that meeting and kind of put a little push? Maybe the select board might say, could you just 
push this a little ahead of time? If they're a quasi judicial board. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they're all appointed. Yep, and, uh, when, and the, when the time comes, we just they just appointed so basically, three people back on the board. So what nobody he's, else wants to serve. What he's asking is what you're saying. We can push by being at that meeting to say, look at. Well, you, they'll know, they'll understand. They'll know, your, that, the they'll, they'll, they'll know that not uh, that um, there's urgency. That there's some people out there that want it or right. don't want it. That's right. Well. And well, we had, I, I understand. And we had both there saying. the other night. There was both people that were pro and people that weren't. That's right. Both two parties spoke. One was worried about the noise, correct? Uh, no you problem. was there. Yeah. Um, and the other one said something so, needed to happen. And the other there. one said, hey, listen, uh, um, take what he's got in front of him and use it. I mean, actually. That's right. I mean, it's a one day, so you guys can't make <laughs> They the said, I'm sorry, sorry. We can't. Understand that, but, okay. but no, the, no, from where it's the select board it's, comes from is, not to repeat myself, but I'll repeat myself, is we support it. Uh, you know, You're right. and that's that's all we can do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a good right. night, guys. Okay. With that, uh, I'll take a motion. Before we go into executive session, one of the things on personnel was the planning board appointments. There cannot be an alternate, and you had appointed an alternate. And I don't know how many members are currently on the planning board, but you can go up to nine. Uh, and if you already have nine members. Uh, then this person, he basically go as a citizen if he wishes, but if not, uh, I would, uh, and the, rec uh, the planning board asked me to bring this up, one of the members did, uh, maybe the thing to do is ask the, pla the planning board, uh, you know, what the, how they feel that he might be a member, because maybe there's somebody that's been on there a long time and doesn't want to be, and maybe there's somebody that's there. Nine makes it difficult sometimes to have a quorum. But I think you got nine. Seven, you can duck in with four if everybody shows up. So but I, but I, I don't know how many you have now because they did the appointment. So you have nine now? Or do you have eight? Uh, we appointed three, actually. They're a nine-member board. Bonnie. But there, is there nine now that's all appointed? There are nine. Okay. Cause there I are nine. Th that was the, that was the, um, the position that there were four people with three slots. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't here, so it's so that they made it a nine-member board, though. Okay, and that's the answer at this time. It was made a nine-member board many years ago. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying you you've appointed. I may word it differently. Wait a minute, you were you appointed. That we, we, I wasn't there. No, he wasn't you, there. No. You appointed enough people that the nine slots are filled. Yes, yes. that is correct. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. That's the answer. We kept the board the same size the board was before. No. It, yeah. Okay. That's I seldom get nine. So, so right. you got nine. Uh, I mean, if you if you want to change, uh, perhaps uh, by the uh, in another year, you probably can discuss that. Am I correct? Yeah. Or, or you know, in in the and, past and year, they had some members that didn't show up all the time or had other issues. And if there truly is someone on the board that feels they, what I'm saying is, and I'll say this at the planning board, if they feel they would rather see this person on it, then they could step down if they wish. The if, they, if they don't wish to step down, then they'd stay the nine members they are. That's the option they have. It's just, it's unfortunate, but we can't appoint anybody else. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I brought it up because they, they want to let you know you can't have an alternate. Okay. Very good. With that being said. Then I'll make a motion to go into executive session to do with the public officials and personnel. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Going to executive session. Thank you very much.